I almost burnt down the house yesterday. Funny things happen when we have the first attempt, right? I'm going to send this out today. I feel so happy. You know, this thing is going to send to another country and I'm able to spread out my art and what I love. It's, it's just so happy. Thank you. I'm currently transferring my artworks to my folders, iCloud folders, because my iPad is um, 64 GBs. It's usually used up like 62, so I transfer my files to iCloud and probably will delete some when I need space. The most question asked is that what size of the iPad should people buy? I know that the minimum size now is like 128. You don't really need a really big sized iPad if you have iCloud. But man, I envy people with 128 because I need that space so much. I draw too frequently when you don't have enough space on iPad. So annoying like you draw and procreate keeps on bailing out on you you'll be like what why <laughs> but the good thing is that they they have the auto save so you won't lose all your stuff if they don't i'll probably be crying <laughs> and the other reason i'm transferring it to my iCloud is because like um, procreate is an app you wouldn't want to lose all your stuff when your iPad breaks down. I'm just doing this just in case and I export them into Photoshop files so that when I need to edit them on computer, it's capable with my Photoshop and I won't need to use another application. And I have a really bad bed hair today. I decided to go on a small talk while I upload these items on into my iCloud. I'm not good at multitasking, so it's raining today. I should be working on a client work today. I bought some polymer clays. These are the clays that I bought when I was in middle school. I also got these colors. I just grew up to love gray and brownish colors. I wanted to make like little tarts. Tarts of blue. That would be so cool. I haven't done these things in a long while so I'm not sure if my hands are that capable of doing small things. I received a really cool quiet client work quiet work um it's about the elevator when we take the ride on the elevator there was a little like poster this size and it's in four it's in four different illustrations telling people that what to deal with when you get stuck in elevators it's really not understandable like when i was really little i couldn't read the chinese so I was guessing that it was a four square comic. I always end up with different stories. I was guessing like, why is that girl in an elevator? And the next scene is she fell. She fell from the elevator. And they drew the same girl, but she was like really shocked and running around. So it's just not really user friendly. I can show you this. It's seen everywhere so the original poster is like this yeah it's really cool like when i was younger i was think what what is this and when i'm in teenage i would think that this thing should be changed but why hasn't it changed yet and now i have the chance to change it and it's official it's by a group of people that is in charge of these i need to finish that in two weeks and as I said, I wasn't good at multitasking. I ended up talking and not uploading things. So 
Yeah, I need to focus right now. Oh, so familiar, I never expected you. So be right in my arms, my favorite part. How you talk in the dark, oh god, there's something about the sound of you is stuck in my head. I'm hopelessly romanticizing all that you said, even though I see that I'm in too deep. I still gotta let you know. Under the floor Feels like I felt this feeling before Before I've seen you in a movie I heard you in a song Now I know that this will never go wrong Like you already knew me That's why we get along Yeah, I know that this will never go wrong I've seen you in a movie I heard you in a song Now I know that this will never go wrong Like you already knew me That's why we get along Yeah, I know that this will never go wrong This will never go wrong pins I got I love them too much so I got another bunch of them yeah summer rain on the window Watch the time float on Cool air blows a memento As I fall March 28th, Monday, and I made these last night. I haven't add on the eyes yet. Um, I will redraw this eyes with acrylic gouache. I tried out the method, I googled, and it worked. So, um, I filmed down the progress last night. And I will probably like uh, do a double screen over here. I use these Fimo polymer clay, so they are water-based 
like uh, these are my old ones they crumble while I was cutting they weren't able to like um, knead it and make it the clay consistency cut them into really small pieces and spray water on top of it's kind of messy so I would advise you guys to use um, plastic wrap underneath you add water onto the small pieces and start kneading it and the water eventually will absorb into the clay and you'll get a really sticky clay but if you keep kneading it it'll come into one piece and that's eventually it I'm actually really happy that it worked this one was the clay I cured and I was worried that if there was too many water and it wasn't like from the factory directly into the oven will it like not work because too many water is inside but it turned out really good yeah so the only problem is that uh, because like most of my clays are dried so when I work on them, I would need to cure every one of them before going into designs and yeah, my fingers are so painful from these <laughs> but that's what I get when I didn't like store them inside a ziploc bag it's cool because at first I thought maybe I should just throw these away because they were dried but now they aren't and I could reuse them not only I saved money and also I saved the environment because imagine these like they are still good materials being thrown away yeah we don't want that to happen right I made a tart and a popsicle stick which I said it backwards but this is the popsicle and inside it's bitten open and this is the loo tart it should be like this I've added um, pastel colors which I learned um, with some other youtubers doing this kind of video makes me so happy because like um, one of my youtuber idols were Tony Ellison she is so good at making polymer clay and she hasn't been updating since like 2017 anymore she is my childhood idol and I've always wanted to make a YouTube channel like that <laughs> although I'm currently not doing any tutorials because I'm not capable enough to make tutorials yet and I also like to draw more instead of making craft but this is like a part time I could say and um, yesterday I designed a rough sketch of what I want to make most of them are food like here so this is the tart and a toast with an egg and a loo face and a normal charm macaron popsicle stick which is currently what I'm making and a star and rocky and a roll cake yeah I want to make a lot of things like I think it's one of a way to keep myself disciplined like I shouldn't buy too many stuff without finish using them and making them going into waste at the same time i can like boost my creativity could spend more time on um, designing stuffs which i lack off really much i almost burnt down the house yesterday yeah we have that really small oven our huge one was was broken so I used the small one and I literally forgot how to use it it only has a timer it doesn't have a temperature like you can control 
and <laughs> because the package says to like bake 30 minutes so I did I set the timer to like 15 15 or 10 and after like five minutes I was too focused on working on new items so I didn't realize but my mom came out I was like Jenny the house is so many smoke what you doing like you got a burnt item and you didn't realize and I turned back and I saw the little oven was like the smoke was like coming out I was like, oh I unplugged it and I was so worried it might trigger the alarm like that would be a big problem and yeah the burnt item was thrown away but I did like uh, this is my reaction and <laughs> yeah I am after that I tried out a little by little like two minutes and that was it the oven was so small and so hot that it took like two minutes to finish a 30 minute thing it was too funny because the burnt one was like so ugly my mom was laughing the whole way through even like after 30 minutes she comes out and say like oh how's your stuff and i'm like oh it turned out fine and she was like <laughs> but that burnt ones are so ugly and i'm like yeah i know stop it <laughs> anyways funny things happen when we have the first attempt right this is the art i made i always wanted to draw in this style like a watery transparent jello-y style and i will be continuing on doing more of these maybe i'll make them into stickers so this is uh one of the tell me what to draw octopus with jellyfish and i thought what if legs were a fashion in underseas like the jellyfish would become the octopus idol he's literally like whoa it says if you see this you should uh, you must draw your oc as normal gender bent which might be louis a baby and villain the villain one was i think was the hardest because lou is just a little nice bean he is too nice to become evil and i needed some time to like figure out how to draw lou being a villain i don't know if like you guys use line the social application line i actually started off um, as an line sticker artist which I drew Say the first seal and they currently have a new um, a theme or an event this one you have to draw the original line stickers into your own character I'm currently working on them it's over here it's been a while since I did line stickers the last one was Christmas I personally love this one so much I don't know if other countries really use line, so I currently drew them in Chinese. But if you guys do, you can tell me, and maybe I could translate them into English. Should I make a video of me making polymer clay? I don't know. But my hands hurt from the mushing yesterday, like this part. So. should work harder on that don't give up <laughs> I should not give up every time I feel tired on clay yeah 